If you're new to the channel, I'm Alan Ryan and I'm all about financial independence and retiring early one day. And lately I've been talking a lot about crypto. I made a video on how to avoid high transfer fees on Exodus. If you haven't seen it, check it out up here. But what if you wanna send your ERC20 coins or Ethereum from your Exodus to your MetaMask wallet and you get hit with a crazy high gas fee? Well, one of two solutions, right? You either pay that $120 gas fee or higher sometimes, or you miss out on that opportunity. And if both of those don't sound like great solutions to you, stick with me and today I'm gonna to explain to you a simple way on how you can send your ERC20 coins or Ethereum from your Exodus to your MetaMask wallet for zero fee. So, oh, today's inspiration behind the video was from JK and from Preparing for War. Thank you guys for the inspiration. And other people, if you want me to make a video on an interesting topic, drop it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to work on that video for you. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, so let's first talk about how this is gonna work. So first you're gonna go into your Exodus wallet. You're going to look at your ERC20 or Ethereum coins. You're going to look at your private keys, export your private keys, and then import your private keys into your MetaMask wallet. So let's go ahead and go through those instructions together. So first open your Exodus wallet. All right, you see here we have $8.33 in Ethereum, and it actually would cost a decent amount of that to send that to our MetaMask wallet. That's why we're actually going to import this address into our MetaMask wallet. So how do we look at our private keys from our Exodus wallet? If you look at these three dots at the top right, go ahead and click it, and then view private keys. Uh, it gives you a warning because if you're viewing your private keys and you don't secure them in a location, anyone who has access to your private keys can steal all of your cryptocurrency for whatever you're holding that has those private keys. Remember, your private keys should never be shown to anybody. So yes, I'm sure that I'm going to look at my private keys. You're going to be asked to unlock your wallet. Okay, and then it's going to show you your private keys right there. So here's my address, here's my private keys. Uh, I made a new wallet for this, the purpose of this video. So I'm gonna show you everything so you can see everything together. So here's our private key. Okay, and so now what we want to do is go ahead and copy our private key. So highlight it, control C, and then go to your notepad and control V. Double check to make sure that it is correct. So I look at my last, three and my first three and they match. So it is the private key that we're importing. Your public key is public, so it doesn't matter, but it's your private key that we actually need to import into our MetaMask. So now that we have our private key, we're going to open up our Brave browser. And you see we already have our MetaMask extension open up and I have my Ethereum address here, but what we're actually going to do is click on our MetaMask, click on this little icon on the top right, import account, and then it says here to paste your private key string here. So now that key that you saved in your notepad, go ahead and copy it and paste and then go ahead and click import. And so now you see that you've imported all of your Ethereum or all of your ERC20 token from your Exodus straight into your MetaMask wallet. So now from here, I could send or make purchases or do whatever I'd like within my MetaMask wallet because now I've imported those, that Ethereum into the wallet itself. So you see, in summary, that was just a very easy way to import your address, rather than having to make a transfer from your Exodus wallet to your MetaMask, we just imported the address. That way it didn't cost us any fees at all. And we're fully capable of using our MetaMask now to make purchases or do whatever we'd like to do with our cryptocurrency. And we actually didn't have to transfer anything at all. So it's, I hope this saves you a little bit of money. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any other ideas for videos you'd like me to make. I'd be happy to look into them. Uh, remember, I'm here for you, so let me know what you, what you need, how I can help you. All right, Alan Ryan, thank you so much for watching the video. Have a great one. Bye.